Hello everybody, welcome to Warriors Weekly, a show in which I go page by page of every book in Warriors series and then discuss and draw every single named character that appears in it. In this episode we are talking about the second character to be named in Into the Wild, which is Tiger Star, though at this point in the story he is still known as Tiger Claw. The way Tiger Star is introduced into the story is highly unusual because we start with watching him heroically protecting his clan. We see him beat Oakhart in a battle fair and square, and then we watch as Tiger Star rushes to help one of his clanmates who is being attacked by a River Clan warrior. And once Redtail calls the clan to retreat, we see Tiger Star's frustration with the battle lost so, so easily, and we share his anger. This is quite unusual, because, well, characters who play such a role in the story as Tiger Star does, they usually are introduced doing something terrible. Tiger Star is shown as this really admirable figure that we root for. However, this confident, brave face which Tiger Star shows to the world is not all that is inside him. We learn about this in special editions and novellas. In Tiger Star's Fury, we learn that he, he has really messed up self-esteem. He really, really, really hates himself and mocks himself and just doesn't allow himself to make any mistakes. Later we learn why. In Blue Star's Prophecy, we learn that his father, Pine Star, left Tiger Star at this time Tiger Kid, his sisters and his mother, and became a kitty pet, bringing great shame both to the clan and his family. And after this, Tiger Star's sisters died, which led his mother to spoil her son a lot and don't correct his violent tendencies. The whole clan also dotted on Tiger Star because he, before White Kid was born, he was the only kid in the clan. And well, his sisters died. It was horrible. But we learn that Tiger Kid wasn't some spoiled blood. He, in fact, was a young cat that really wanted to be loved by his father. In Pine Star's Choice, we see how he desperately wants his father to admit that he lo loves him by asking Pine Star if he was sad if Tiger Kid died. Which is a really heartbreaking story. Because at this moment, Pine Star is unable to, f to even think about loving Tiger Kid. He was warned by previous leader, Doll Star, that Tiger Star had a quite difficult destiny ahead of him. Yes, he could become a great leader, but he also could be a great menace and danger to Thunder Clan. Doll Star said this to Pine Star in hopes that he will decide to stay with Thunder Clan and lead Tiger Star on the right path and raise him to be a good cat. But Pine Star panics contemplates killing Tiger Kid and then runs away hoping that oh Sunfall will solve this. Thanks, Pine Star. Ironically, Sunfall furtherly pushed Tiger Star on his dark path by an accident. He had a really good intentions. You see, he decided to make Fizzle Claw Tiger's paw mental. He did it because he knew that Fizzle Claw really badly wanted to mentor his son, White Paw, later White Stone. But he knew that Blue Star was concerned with how Fizzle Claw was encouraging White Paw to be aggressive. And because Sunfall didn't believe that Fizzle Claw was a good match to mentor White Paw, he made him a mentor to Tiger Kid instead, probably thinking that since Tiger Kid already was a really energetic, rambunctious, bold kitten, he would make a better match to aggressive Thistle Claw. Unfortunately, at this point, Thistle Claw was a broken man. The death of his mate Snowfall changed him, and he was full of anger. And from these little tidbits we saw, just as abusive as Tiger Star was later to Ravenpaw. He fueled the anger that T Tiger Paw felt inside and was constantly mocking him. Probably the voice which we would hear in Tiger Star's head in Tiger Star's Fury. I wouldn't be surprised if this voice was quoting some things that Thistleclaw at some point of training said to him. You see, Tiger Paw had this great anger inside him because he just couldn't forgive his father for leaving his clan to become a kitty pet of all things. And he was scared that the clan believed that Tiger Paw too will leave his clan to become a, a kitty pet. He just wanted to prove himself to his clanmates. Meanwhile, the rest of the Thunder Clan is mostly unaware of this. They think that, oh, Tiger Paw is growing so much, he will be a fine warrior, ha ha ha. And they are not aware of the torment inside this young cat. The only one who realized this is Spotted Leaf at the time Spotted Paw. Unfortunately, she goes to talk about Tiger Paw and his rage to the very, very wrong cat, which is Fizzleclaw, which is the worst choice she could make if she went to Sunfall or anyone. Anyone! 
then maybe something will be done about this. Maybe the clan will reassure Tiger's Tal that it's okay to be a warrior, she do he doesn't have to be the, the best and perfect at everything. I finally spotted Paul goes to Thistleclaw, and he assures her that everything is alright with Tiger Paul. I'm doing great job with him. Ah, oh, I'm such a nice guy. Love me. And as a result, Tiger Paul ends up as this mess. And that's why I find Tiger Star's Fury is such a fascinating read. We always see Tiger Star through lenses of other people, and we see him as this really confident, calm, cold warrior, and we suddenly know that inside this great leader, there is this kitten that hates himself, that young child that was abandoned by, by his father, and never quite got over this, and never felt accepted, and feels the need to conquer everything, and become the most powerful in order that to be loved. He not only cannot appreciate himself, he cannot appreciate it others. Something which we do see in Tiger Style Fury, we see how he doesn't appreciate the, the warriors that fight for him, the loners who decided to uh, live their, their lives in Tulek Place in order to earn their place in clans. He does despise them all and thinks really lowly of them. He thinks lowly of a cat that asks his mate about how their ch children are and is heartbroken when he learns that his son is dead. Tigerstar doesn't understand this. Tigerstar is disgusted by this. You can see this in the main series too, when he witnesses the birth of Silverstream's kids. He just doesn't get it. He doesn't understand why Greystripe is such a mess after Silverstream dies. He doesn't know what to do with the kids. We can see him being extremely awkward at things that come naturally to most cats in the universe. And I think that this side of Tiger Star should be discussed more often. We all often speak about psychology of such characters as Scourge or Ashfur, but we give so little thought to Tiger Star while he's one of the most complex and fascinating villains to read about. That's it for this week. See you next time in the next episode of Weekly Warrior. Bye bye!